hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is Kathleen Ford uh, coming back at you I'm hoping that uh, each of you are having a great new year so far I'm dropping in today to drop a few gems on helping you to level up in this year 2022 I'm gonna share with you five ways to help you do so and coming in at number one is to Take care of yourself mentally and physically. Reason being is, I would say that you cannot take care of your babies um, as a parent and as a wife and your extended family members and even the community without being in check men mentally and physically. And um, when it comes times to your mental health, it is good to just take some time just to get yourself together. Even if you have to, if you're feeling somewhat stressed out at any point and it seems any situation uh, seems kind of overbearing for you and you feel like you need to reach out and get some help. First of all, we all know that um, about the power of prayer. Um, but besides praying if you feel like you need to reach out to go and see a doctor it is good to um get in tune to a nurse practitioner or either a mental health doctor of some form to help you out in that department because it is good to have um your mind stable in order to take care of those that you love and um, to prevent you from slipping away, which in some turn or in some instances, it might cause you to have to go away from your family. So you don't want it to ever get to that. And also that when you're affected mentally in situations, it could affect your physical health. You could either gain weight or lose weight. And either way it go, it's not healthy for you to gain too much weight or lose too much weight because when you're not in shape physically you cannot uh perform at all so either way it go mental health and physical health plays um a part with each other so i would just say that put that at the top of your list when it comes times to taking care of yourself Ladies, because that plays a great part of us in helping others. Um, but we have to first help ourselves. And uh, number two is um, I always refer to biblical scriptures. And in the book of Habakkuk, or Habakkuk, second chapter, two and three verses. Um, the scripture lets us know to write the vision and make it plain. And I'm talking to you ladies of um, entrepreneurship, lady bosses, boss babes, or whatever you want to call it. It is good for you to write your vision and make it plain and discover that you can turn whatever it is that you're seeking for it's good to write the vision and then you can walk it out from there and you can turn <clears throat> your passion into a profit and I'm a living witness of this because I have several passions and I know each of each one of them I have turned them into profit it's just that I'm more lenient toward others as I am toward some. So I'm a living witness that you can do that. But like I say, it is always good to write the vision and you can see what's in front of you and you can start from there and move forward. Number three is what you didn't accomplish in 2021. Just forget about it. Don't even let it get you down. Just um, take a lesson in wherever you failed 
and just start from scratch and revise the plan and learn from your downfalls and just go from there. I mean, you could have probably decided that you wanted to invest in um, a hair business or maybe a clothing boutique. And if you saw to where you failed, you could learn your lessons where you failed, where it could have been into marketing or um, pricing errors or anything like that. Or, um, you know, it's, it's a a plethora of things that you could have failed from. But just learn from your mistakes and just um, revise the plan and just go forward. And coming in at number four, don't get distracted. I'll set a goal for myself on this year because I'm I'm talking to myself too, ladies, when I'm talking to you all, is don't get distracted. Keep your eyes on the prize and just always keep focused because that is the only way that you're going to be able to carry out whatever you have planned. And you can see... um yourself moving forward you have to focus i mean you have a lot of things that can distract you you have family you have friends you have situations but in order for you to reach your goals you're going to have to stay focused and that's the main thing that women in entrepreneurship should learn because a lot of us we are working from homes and you have to learn that you have to focus because you cannot achieve any of your goals, or make sales, reach clients, anything like that, without having been in focus. Okay, and coming in at number five. Okay, and coming in at number five, um, the last thing is to be consistent and set a goal as to how much money you would like to make and go from there. Meaning that um, you can't, Decide that you're going to, uh, you want to make some money today and tomorrow you're just going to be, you're going to sit still and not do anything. Um, you're going to have to just constantly have to be on the move when you're working toward building your business or your empire, whatever you want to call it. You have to stay consistent in the goals that you set for yourself because you cannot see a profit. And, and in continuation, um, like I said, just don't be slack. And the goals that you set for yourself. Just be consistent and you will see um, accomplishments because um, you're consistent. Okay, ladies, I hate to cut this short, but I'm going to have to go because I am running out of time and space on my phone here. So, just to... um. Summing up, I hope that this has motivated you and inspired you to um, level up in year in this year 2022. And I will be coming to you with more inspiration and motivation uh, because it is part of my purpose to help motivate and empower women to be the best version of themselves. And in the meantime, I would like to send my blessings love hugs and kisses to each of you and continue to level up blossom and glow up see you on the next video goodbye